The St. Paul District Environmental Stewardship Section has been busy lately planting trees near Bay City, Wisconsin. This section has been busy working on a reforestation project for more than seven years as a way to mitigate for floodplain forests and wetlands that were recently lost due to nearly $70 million in construction at Lock and Dam 3 near Red Wing, Minnesota. St. Paul District Natural Resources Specialist Ray Marinin said the program is all about providing diverse floodplain forests, which benefits both society and the environment. This is really, this is mitigation for loss at Lock and Dam 3. Uh, so we lost acreages of wetland forests there, and we're trying to mitigate that here at this site. From row crops to acorns, the planted seeds will soon become the trees of tomorrow. The forest was planted in two phases, and there are already signs of progress. This uh, particular tree, which is a black walnut, this is one of the uh, species we did plant. They were planted three years ago, uh, so there's probably a year where they're, you know, they're in the soil. So actually this would represent two years of growth. What we're looking at here now is a five-year-old black walnut seedling by comparison to our previous one we looked at. Uh, as you can see, it, it is larger, it's taller, it's probably twice the height. Uh, we have a lot more growth down here at the base. This happens to be a, a, a five-year-old oak tree. I'm just clearing out some old dried leaves from uh, a bird nest. So uh, already in just uh, five years of growth, we have a tree that's big enough to be providing uh, habitat for nesting birds. So that's a real, real neat deal. And so that's proof that our, uh, our work is having uh, positive benefits already. While the forest is well on its way to becoming suitable habitat for a variety of trees and animals, the people who made it all possible are many. Well, there's a long list uh, just within our own agency. You have everyone involved in the lock and dam system, uh, everyone in our planning agency, so we have pro, pro, uh, our program managers, uh, certainly everyone in our environmental branch is involved. Uh, again, there was you know, fisheries aspects, there's uh, upland habitat, uh, so you got different specialities involved there. Uh, certainly regulatory is the big player. They're the ones responsible for writing up the mitigation plan that we're following. Uh, you know, then we have our partner agencies. So uh, here we're in Wisconsin, so they're a big player, of course. So we have their division of forestry, their division of wildlife, their division of fisheries. Uh, all those players are coming together. The many hands that have touched this project have always been focused on one goal, improving the environment. We're interested in, in not only reproducing trees and making a forest here, but we're looking at the benefits of that for wildlife. So we also try to plant uh, a food source. So we have a variety of seed producing trees that provide food then for a high variety of wildlife. Uh, but you know, there's intrinsic value here uh, to the public. This is an area that already in just a few years has had a lot of interest from the public. It didn't take long for people to realize that, hey, there's public land we can use and access. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers St. Paul District manages approximately 25,000 acres of land along the Mississippi River within the district boundaries. For more information, please visit the St. Paul District website.